Hello and welcome to the Cord Blood Basics seminar series. In this lesson, I'll be answering the question of why expectant parents should consider preserving both cord blood and cord tissue. But before I can do that, I have to introduce you to the placenta, the umbilical cord, and explain the difference between cord blood and cord tissue. Let's get started. We're going to begin with a glimpse into embryonic development. Once conceived, a baby goes through several different stages of development. Every baby starts off as a single fertilized egg cell. Then, within the span of just a few weeks, the embryo goes on to establish the basic body plan of an adult. Once this is done, then it's a matter of growing and refining these basic features to become fully developed. All of these developmental events happen in utero or inside the womb of the mother and is only possible because of an amazing organ, the placenta. The placenta is a temporary organ that grows during pregnancy. It's the only dispensable organ in the human body. The placenta attaches to the wall of the uterus and forms a connection between the mother and the developing baby. This connection is essential for providing the baby with the oxygen and the nutrients necessary for growth and for removing the waste products from the baby's blood. The blood vessels of the mother and the baby are found side by side inside the placenta. This keeps their blood supply separate. You will notice that the umbilical cord connects the growing baby to the mother. The umbilical cord itself has two components, cord blood and cord tissue. Cord blood refers to the blood found within the umbilical cord and cord tissue refers to the umbilical cord itself. Given that the placenta is a temporary organ that develops during pregnancy, shortly after a baby is born, the body also expels the placenta. In the past, once the umbilical cord was cut, the cord and the placenta were discarded as medical waste. Today, it's well established that cord blood, cord tissue, and even the placenta are sources of valuable stem cells and when possible, should be preserved. Cord blood and cord tissue are sources of at least two different types of stem cells, which is why many expectant parents choose to preserve both cord blood and cord tissue. Cord blood is a source of hematopoietic stem cells. These cells produce different types of blood cells and immune cells in our bodies. They are useful for treating blood-related diseases and for replenishing the immune system. Cord tissue contains another type of stem cells known as mesenchymal stem cells. They act as a medical surveillance team to repair and regenerate the body in special ways. Mesenchymal stem cells are being explored for their potential for treating diseases involving organs other than the blood system and the immune system. So to answer the question, both cord blood and cord tissue are sources of stem cells. These stem cells have different properties and are being explored for their therapeutic potential to treat different diseases. By banking both cord blood and cord tissue, you'll be ensuring that your child will have access to an extended range of new stem cell therapies that become available in their lifetime. Still have questions? Feel free to explore our other lessons to learn more. Or you can reach us at info at and we'll be happy to assist you.